we're back. And today we actually have some Yeski with the famous 530 pounder Derek the White Belt on the left and Mike the Purple Belt on the right. Remember, if you want to get great gear, you can get gear using my link and promo code in the description to get gear from X Marshall. Then you can look extremely stylish on the mats. Now this is an interesting role because Derek finally decides he wants to wear a gi. He's been attending jujitsu classes and he didn't even own a gi, he was just deciding to watch instead of participate. Now once he's pushing into Mike, Mike is really easily able to hit a balloon sweep on Derek, send him flying over his back, but then Derek is really quickly able to get back up and he's looking to try and take Mikey down. However, Mike is very scared of wrestling at any time, so he's going to go straight to his back and get leg dragged by Derek and now Derek is in side control, pressing him. Now advice for people like Derek who are much larger, it is very important that you can keep your opponent on their back because you want to apply as much weight as possible from this pinning position. But Mike is doing a nice job by creating some frames and we can see just how strong frames are. This is allowing Mike to get off to his side and he's able to create some distance between Derek and himself so he doesn't have to try and maintain all of that weight. However, as he's grabbing the belt, Derek is being smart and he's transitioning into north-south. North-south is great at disengaging and then you can return to regular side control and then you can continue to pin your opponent in small most of them. Now this wouldn't be a good commentary if I didn't give somebody an insult right after doing something good. Derek did a nice job pinning him and then he quickly messes it all up by going for a really lazy mount and he allows Mike to get his knee in and Mike hits a very easy reversal and now he's on top of Derek in the full guard position. Now one of the great things about being much larger than your opponent is that you typically have pretty strong grips. And that leads us into the question of the day and my question is how are your grips? Derek has a lot of strength in his hands and despite not knowing any jujitsu, clearly, he's doing a nice job holding Mike in this position, and Mike is not having fun trying to address the grips on the gi. So, comment below how good your grips are. We also get to see the famous heavyweight guard that we've talked about before, and heavyweight guard is when you just kind of sit on bottom and you're waiting for the guy on top to do most of the work because you don't want to get up yourself or initiate any sweeps. But of course, right as I say that, Derek is looking for his own sweep, and this is the Derek version of the balloon sweep. He tries to send Mike over, and Mike is very easily keep his feet underneath them and Derek gets a quick quack. <laughs> As they're standing and Derek is pushing into Mike, Mike takes advantage of this situation and he pulls a quick collar drag trip on Derek, the humongous wrestler, making him look like a fake wrestler as soon as they hit the standing position. He's also trying to work on the back of Derek and he's controlling the back with an over under position. But Derek is doing some hand fighting, which is very questionable because he's pulling the fingers away in different directions, which is definitely illegal. He's forced to disengage because he doesn't want to break his fingers and they're back to the standing position and Mike's gonna have to think of a new approach because he knows that he can't try and grab Derek ever again. So what does Mike do? He becomes a kitten killer and he pulls guard. That is very standard for Mike when he's in his old man jiu-jitsu ways, but he doesn't want to try and wrestle with Derek other than that nice collar drag attempt. Now you guys have to remember, Derek is pretty new to jiu-jitsu and he's just a white belt, so he doesn't know what to do on top, and not all roles are glamorous, so we're going to speed this one up quite a bit. He's just trying to push into Mike and apply a quick choke on him. That's not ever going to work, and typically that gets you arm barred, but Derek doesn't quite know that yet. As he's trying to move around, we can see that Mike has some pretty good control on Derek. He has the lapel controlled, he has the sleeve controlled, and he also has his feet on the hips. This generally is going to set up an attack, and he's looking for the arm bar, but as he goes for his arm bar, Derek goes full rampage Jackson and starts lifting him off the mat, so Mike is forced to let go so he doesn't get slammed against the mat. After the Black Beast has cleared himself of the armbar, he's going to move into Mike's guard again, and he's still the same fish out of water we just saw earlier, but he's trying to address the feed first, which is a good sign that he's learning a little bit about jujitsu. Mike, however, is going immediately into the collar because he wants to maintain some control over Derek, so Derek isn't able to move freely around him. With this control, Mike is going to hit Derek with a quick alley-oop, send him over, and Derek clearly loves to go flying because he's been hit twice with a very similar sweep. Now it's Mike's job to try and move around on top and get advance into a better position and hopefully set up a submission. But we can see here that Derek is trying to shrimp, but he's flat on his back. And this is why we can see that fundamentals are actually important. If you want to do good shrimping, you gotta get on your side and you gotta try and put your head near their hip pocket. Unfortunately for the viewers, Mike is no longer in tournament mode, so he's returned to his old man jiu-jitsu style. When he's on top of Derek, he's just maintaining good control, he's trying to stay tight, and he's not moving too much. It should be in his best interest that he wants to move around Derek and get a good submission and look very fancy on camera so he's gonna first hit him with by moving to the left he's gonna pass guard by going over the right and sprawling out on his legs however once he does get into the side control position he decides he'd like to relax and sit on top of Derek instead of hunting down a submission 
and that's really okay. You don't always need to get a submission, it just looks nice for the camera, but I understand this probably jives well with most of the people watching, where it's more about control versus always head hunting. Now this does bring us to the end of the video, so if you appreciate the video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you to all my current viewers and patrons.